turn now to the fight against COVID-19. The Biden administration's vaccine mandate taking a toll on long-term care facilities. Industry leaders saying it's causing staff to quit. And we are seeing that play out right here in Metro Detroit. Henry Ford Health System revealing just yesterday that 400 workers left because of the vaccine requirement. Some good news in the push to vaccinate. Governor Whitmer announcing more than 10 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in our state. While millions of Michiganders are now better protected from the virus, we're still seeing high case reports. More than 7,600 new infections were reported over the last two days. It's an average of about 3,800 cases a day. Another 92 deaths were also announced. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is live with how health care facilities are trying to fight the virus while facing a staffing shortage. Darren. Yes, Glenda Bryan, good afternoon. Now, when we talk about long-term care facilities, we're talking about nursing homes, assisted living facilities, as well as rehabilitation centers. We're outside of the West Bloomfield Health and Rehabilitation Center, where, as you can see behind me here, they are hiring. And so the administrator here says that they're having to go to the lengths of offering bonuses to get people to work overtime, picking up extra shifts to meet their staffing needs. The workers there are generally low wage workers that make under $15 an hour. And here in Michigan, they're only making around 12 to $13 an hour. The average pay rate for nursing assistants in long term care facilities. Dr. Cherie Robinson Lane, an assistant professor at the University of Michigan School of Nursing, says that in part may be a reason a staffing shortage is not a new concept. But we've been experiencing a labor crisis or, or shortages, at least for many years. And it's been a particular downturn in um, labor since about 2016. She says because of low income, about 40% of nursing assistants are on public assistance, as well as uninsured or underinsured. All of that preceding the Biden administration's vaccine mandate for workers. Industry leaders Seven Action News spoke with believe the mandate is intensifying the staffing crisis. Not only does it exacerbate the problem, but exacerbates the problem in the facilities that are experiencing the highest levels of shortages um, already. The Healthcare Association of Michigan says nursing homes around the state have had to close wings and consolidate space because of a reduction in staff. The mandate has not officially taken effect yet. But the association says workers are already exiting. And once the rule is enforced, possibly this month, a greater staffing crisis is expected. Workers at long-term care facilities responded to our post on social media. This nursing assistant says she won't get the vaccine, saying it's wrong to make her put something in her body in order for her to keep her job. This viewer says she works in a senior living facility that lost seven employees because of the vaccine mandate. This person says she really enjoyed her job of 11 years, but was fired for not getting the jab. Now, the Healthcare Association of Michigan says that it has been in contact with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, hoping the federal agency will allow for diligent COVID testing to take the place of a vaccine mandate.